The fair share debate involves two sites, uh, the telcos and the content providers. And in particular, the large content providers, the so-called big techs. Uh, the telco view can be illustrated by the AT&T CEO, Edward Whittakers, who in 2006 already expressed that the big tech should not be able to use the pipes for free. This is similar to the argument today that big techs should be obliged to provide fair contributions. The content provider's view, on the other hand, is that telcos are actually selling empty pipes. So you need something to fill the pipes with. The demand for content is therefore driving the demand for capacity. Content can increase end user demand for access to higher speed or larger data allowances. In other words, the ISPs are using the content or content providers in order to sell their products. So there is a mutual interdependence between telcos and content providers in, in my understanding. And as Barak expressed uh, in the preliminary assessment, telco customers are downloading content. It's not content providers that are generating the content as, as such. The telco customers already pay for the internet access to download this content. But also content providers pay for distributing content on the server side. And as Barak concludes, there is no evidence of CAPS free riding in telco networks. <laughs>